This small community off I-40 is putting a big emphasis on crime. We are a small department but we're trying to stay ahead of the curve as far as technology. Joe Galindo with the Milan Police Department says they've installed two automated license plate readers in the village in partnership with the technology startup called Flock Safety. He showed us one of them. Um, it has its own power source. You can see it has a solar panel. That's what's going to be operating and giving it power. You have the camera that's going to be there. It has that constant license plate reader. Um, as the vehicle is passing by, it's going to scan those license plates. The cameras then send alerts to police when there's a stolen car or a suspect's vehicle listed in the state or national crime database so they can find them. We have an exit off of I-40, so we have a lot of truck drivers, travelers coming through here. you got to remember I-40 runs from California to North Carolina. In the last week, We've had five hits um, on stolen vehicles in the area. And this school just down the street from one of those cameras, police say they hope it helps with Amber Alerts or catching sex offenders. But are the cameras an invasion of privacy? The ACLU thinks so. In a statement, they said, quote, anytime law enforcement agencies are considering implementing these devices, they must seek advanced public input. This technology does not merely collect data on license plates and can be used to target neighborhoods where people of color predominantly live. But many in the community we spoke to hardly knew the cameras were there or what they were for. But I never did notice the one that's here. But I thought that maybe it was just for the school zone. Once we explained what they did, they said they're glad to have them around. In case something happens at school, they got that on the corner to get a license plate, like an amber alert, you know. In Milan, Kaylin Norwood, KOAT Action 7 News.